Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Swaggy with another video. And today guys, well, sad news, um, I kind of lost, I didn't lose, I actually don't know how my baby turtle escaped, but he did escape, I found out, like yesterday that he escaped, I don't, I still don't know how he got out, because I have this wire over it, like mesh thing, but, yeah, I guess he just escaped, but today's video is not about the turtles, I'm gonna clean, this, this, I'm gonna clean up the soil, I'm gonna take it out right now, and clean that up, and right now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually clean your guys' filters and stuff, so, this is dirty now, I gotta clean that, so, basically what you guys wanna do is, you pretty much wanna grab it, oh my god, spiders on Something's in my face. I don't know if it was a spider or what. But you want to grab whichever filter you're going to clean. Make sure most of the water's out. What I do is I put the actual wire in my pocket. Look. Oh gosh. Like I grab the wire and I'll just put it in my pocket. Let's go ahead and just dump this water in here. Very good for that plant. Or for any plant. I'll clean that up right now too. But what you want to do is, since it's kind of dirty, or it is dirty, you know, the water, it, it doesn't pour out as much. But yeah, you don't want to, I have a piece of, um, this came in the phone, you know, like the, the phone, for your phones when you buy it. So I have a piece of this. This is, I'm using this as my beneficial bacteria, so you don't want to rinse that with anything. So what I'm doing is, I'll go ahead and take out everything. You can see how dirty it is in here. You see that? Nasty. So let me get this chair. And yeah, right now I'm going to turn on the water and I'm going to show you guys how to clean your, your filter. No, how does that look? Yeah, reasonable. I could do that. See how dirty that is, watch. And as you guys can see, I take this out, and there's still stuff in here, so you just want to grab that. Now it's clean. I 
Okay. Let's see. Now, what I'm gonna do is we just go ahead and place this back inside. Let me grab everything that was for that one back inside. This, 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 and that. Okay, do the same thing for this one. Uh, we'll grab up this wire. As you guys can see, it's still clean. It just has a little tan to it now. Which, it's not that bad. I just gotta clean the sand. Maybe do a little water change. Pontanoose plants love this water, fish water, dirty water. And let's just go ahead and do the same thing, but this time I'll try not to talk. And I hope you guys are on a good angle to where you guys can see it. Alright. This one looks good. You guys can see how dirty this is, so I'm just going to give it a quick spray down. Now, I mean, it's looking clean. The bottom, you can see through it. It still has a couple things in there, but that shouldn't hurt it. So. That looks clean. Alright, so now you guys can see the difference of the cleanness.
you guys see how clean that is? It's cleaner than what it used to look like. This one's still blue. And it's, it's easy putting this back together. You know? a good spin test to see if it was if it's clean or not. Just set that right there. And I don't think it, I think this one does have to go in first but it doesn't matter what these ones like you do that however what you yeah. and then I got my little biofilter or my beneficial bacteria stuff. These two are done. Now just put them in. I have you have to fill them up with water and then you should be good now. Let's see. I have a little beta cup that the betas come in with. As you guys can see, water's a little dirty, but... Okay. Now we'll go ahead... Go to this one. It's a bit cleaner. You want to make sure you fill it up with water, just so you don't get any... You don't run into any problemos. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in the wires. <coughs> so The top one does take a little while to run up. I don't know if, if that's just the way mine is, but that's that's the one. That's the way how this one works. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, just give it like a minute or two if you use like that one, or if you get a good one like that one, it just goes automatically. Let's go. Did I already grab it? Okay. Let me bring the chair in. Okay. Still, I'm still trying to warm up. Okay. Now for this, I'm gonna use this to hold in all those plants right there, except the pot, 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 the noose. And maybe that should be it. Like these, just so you could grow. And I don't want to, I want these ones in, I don't know what these ones are actually to be exact. But I'm going to get some, uh, try to buy some duckweed or water spingles. Because those I like, I like, I, I want this to be covered with lilies and stuff. But, just haven't done it yet. Huh. I guess this pontinus don't look like it's making it, but I'll still toss that one in there. There you go. There's that. I'm just doing this to see how how it's going to actually react when we go to California. Oh, this one's growing. A little bud. See? So that one's doing good, so I'll just keep that one in there. That one was from scratch, it was just straight from... It was straight from the pot in this plant, I just took it out. But the ones that have the roots are the ones that do better. Those ones are the ones that are doing really good. 
I guess I can move that over here. Oh look, I got these, I've, I bred these on my own. Look at this. Look at these size, look at the size of these ivory white, pretty much albino mystery snails. They're all, they're ivory white, so basically you could call them albino. They have a little bit of algae on them, but that's okay. But they're so beautiful. I got, I got, a, got a couple of these. Hopefully... The new babies in there, because I do have new babies inside of that aquarium from in here, from the hatchery basically. Hopefully I get some more albinos. That'll be cool. And yeah, it looks like these guys are doing fun in here, the mosquito fishes. I guess they're doing their job and keeping the mosquitoes away. But yeah, I'm gonna get right into it just to get down all the soil and then clean it out. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video right here. And yeah guys, if you do enjoy this video, this little tip, or little tips and tricks, you know, drop a like, and if you are new here, please subscribe, and look at how well my mint plant's doing in water. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's spearmint. And yeah, a piece of it went in the water, and now that's the first one. This was the second one. This was the third one. They do great. So yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.